Well, it looks like the rumors are true. Nintendo finally announced their Direct. It's happening tomorrow, September 13th, 10 a.m. here on the East Coast. And I'll be live streaming, so make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss that. And what games might we see in this Nintendo Direct? Well, there's a lot of rumors that this is going to be a really GameCube-heavy Direct. Uh, seeing rumors for Metroid Prime Remaster, F-Zero GX Remaster, and even the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD games from the Wii U being ported over. Now for Metroid Prime, you really don't have to do a lot to remaster the game. The original GameCube game actually still looks really great, and even if you just ported that over in some way, it probably would be good enough, but just throw on some new textures, upgrade the resolution to 1080p, and there you go. Uh, one thing that could be worked on maybe would be the control scheme for the game. The control scheme is kind of outdated in the sense where if you've played any of the modern first-person shooters that come out, like Call of Duty or anything like that, then this would probably be hard to use to. The second control stick was really used to switch your weapons around and to look around the screen. You actually had to hold down one of the, the triggers to lock your aim and then use the other stick to kind of look around the screen. It's not really intuitive for for any gamers today that have played those first-person shooters. Maybe if they've upgraded that control scheme, it would help. Now, I'm hoping that the remaster is going to be the whole trilogy, but even if we just get Metroid Prime, the first one, that would be awesome to see on the Switch. Wind Waker and Twilight Princess also really don't need a lot of work to be done. They were released on Wii U and HD, so you kind of just need to port those over, and really, you could put them in the same cartridge. Twilight Princess and Wind Waker are two of my favorite Zelda games, and to see them on the Switch in a remaster would be totally awesome. Something not really rumored, but something I'd like to see would be Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games coming to the Nintendo Switch Online. There's so many games in that library that would be awesome to play on a Switch, and if this is going to be a Zelda Heavy Direct, like Jeff Grubb said, there's a lot of Zelda games you could easily throw on there from Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. And to be honest, the Nintendo Switch Online expansion pack really hasn't impressed me all that much. The 64 games and, and Sega Genesis games are really cool, but I never really thought it was really worth all that money. But throwing Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games on there would really be totally worth it for me. Bayonetta 3 was already announced, but I know that it would make a lot of sense to have a small segment, especially since it's coming out next month. It would probably make sense even if they just showed a little bit of extra footage. Some are saying because of all these other Zelda games that Breath of the Wild 2 might not make an appearance at this Direct. I think it might be kind of a silly decision to not have it at the Direct. I would even just put a small kind of sizzler reel kind of thing at the very end just to show what's being done in the game. Just to give us an idea of you know how far the game has come and maybe even give us a solid release date. I know that may be too much to ask but you know I think that would be nice to have that right at the end. And two last games that they should talk about that really kind of have been in development hell for a long time, Pikmin 4 and Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4 was originally announced, I think, the E3 of the year the Switch was released. And in 2019, we got a video from Nintendo saying that the development on the game just really wasn't up to their standards and that they were starting over from completely from scratch and handing the development back over to Retro Studios. And since then, we haven't really heard anything at all, and that's technically been three years since that's happened. I know no Pikmin 4 really hasn't really been talked about all that much, but back in 2015, we did get something from Nintendo saying that Pikmin 4 was close to being completed, and it's been a while, <laughs> and they really should, you know, mention something. Maybe if they are not working on the development for that game anymore, if it was canceled, they really should give us more information on that. I know it would be totally out of left field, but it would be awesome if they announced something like a Super Mario Odyssey 2, or even like a new Star Fox game, or even like a, a, a remaster of a previous Star Fox game, or I don't know, maybe Yoshi game, or anything like that. But you know, who, who knows? I guess we'll find out tomorrow. If you didn't get a chance to check out the Disney and Marvel event that happened on the 9th, you can watch this video right here, and I'll see you on the next one.